When people think of the National Trust, they often think of scenes like this, the lovely Holston House in Surrey and having a nice cup of tea. You don't necessarily think of this. Or this. Or this. But I'm here to show you some of the cracking things you can do in the great outdoors with the National Trust. Today I've come to Box Hill in Surrey, one of the National Trust's renowned beauty spots, and it really is a magnificent setting. I come here today to get my hands dirty and try some outdoor activities. There's literally something for everybody. I mean, there's the zigzag for the cycling, there's off-road cycling. That's the zigzag hill, isn't it? Zigzag road, yeah. And it's just a cyclist dream, it's got Hairpin bends, it's steep, it's a real challenge, and yet it's close to London. One of the most underrated activities you can get up to in the great outdoors is this kiting. <laughs> the wing struts should be pushed in as far as they will go, making sure that the upright struts, I mean, I just I can't even read this. Surfboard, which, I'm, which I'm going to be surfing on for the next sort of half an hour, an hour, however long I can bear it. Just got out of the water, my hands and feet are numb to the bone, but I tell you what, that was fantastic. What do you need if you go kayaking? Well, obviously you need a kayak. That would help, or a canoe. This is a sit on top one. You need an oar, and you need a buoyancy aid. That's pretty much it. Kayaking and surfing aren't your types of sport, then don't worry, there's plenty, plenty more to do here in Wembury. You can come down, go for a big long hike, or just come along with your family and play on the beach. Okay. And what are we going to do now? We're going to go out and we're going to do some rock balling. Nothing under that one. Nothing under this one. Nothing under this one. Nope. Nope, nothing under there. Look at that! Golf ball! Nothing so far, but I sense that a big creature is about to pop out of us. Okay, this is um, the shell of a crab, um, an edible crab, or like sometimes called pasty crab because of the crimping around the sides there. Um, and basically, it's got a molted this shell, so um, to make sure it can grow bigger, it has to molt its shell, then goes and hides under a rock until it um, becomes it's really soft once it's molted, it comes hard and then goes out again, and then it'll keep doing this every time it continues to grow. So it's not dead then? Nope. Definitely not dead? Nope, it's just outgrown its shell. There you go. An alive, well, crab shell. Yeah. We've had a tremendous day here in Wembury. We've been surfing, kayaking, rock pooling, trekking. It's been absolutely terrific. But if none of that's your thing and you just want to come here and enjoy the nice views, you can finish up the day here in the Old Mill Cafe with a nice cup of tea. Oh, that's good. To be.